hey Nick, how come this part is later than the other parts? Or, you know, it's usually out Saturday night into Sunday, even though you said that you'd upload them on Monday. Uh, why is this one later? I mean, are you going to stop doing Digimon? No. Do you want to know why it's later? Look at that timestamp. 25 hours. 25 fucking hours. <laughs> why? Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. But I'm going to keep fucking doing it. So, alright. So we're going to go to the device dome. I grinded so fucking much. What I did was I DNA digivolved and digivolved and all sorts of stuff. So they're all good and stuff. The Digimon are really good. And I also grinded all the Digi Beetle parts. Almost all of them. Um, the last one I need is the Pegasus engine. So we're going to get that now. It's going to be spiffy. That's the ammo, man. It's useless. We don't want to talk to him. I said no. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. The Also, the reason I'm late is because I had I wanted to finish grinding before I started this. Uh, let's see. Pegasus send in 20,000 bits. Fan-fucking-tastic. Okay. So, next you go. You upgrade Pegasus engine and whatnot. This is the other reason. These are the only things I really have left. Are the mine sweep and bug sweep. Uh, upgrading, grading both those to A. Once I'm done with these, then I don't have to upgrade them anymore, and I'll be able to see any bugs, traps, or any mines. I think, probably, hopefully. Oh, fucking! I forgot to transfer it. Damn it! 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 Okay. So part eight. Woo! Who's excited? Not this guy. Uh, I am excited to get it over with. But let's see. Alright. <clears throat> so I gotta go to the arena for this one. Uh, so I... Finished... It was... Dar uh, well, we'll get to it in a second. One thing at a time. Uh, I... Well, I guess I can talk about it. I digivolved Betamon to Dark Tyrannomon. That's who it was. I knew it was a Tyrannomon. Um, and... I... DNA digivolved it with something. I think Tordomon. And I got an Agumon again, so I have another Greymon now. It's very strong, and I like it. Uh, probably going to DNA digivolve it with... Uh, not Airdramon anymore. Let's just look at this real quick. So, I'm looking at... I named it this. This is the one that had... It was an Airdramon, and then I think its DP is now 3. And because of that, it's either 3 or 4. It digivolved into a Vigermon on its own, like from Beomon to Vigermon. Um, so I guess that's three, and I think if you get four or five, it turns into Sabergermon. And then six, I want to say, is Bergermon. So maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. But um, once once this one gets to, like, it's either 18 or 19 is its max level right now. Once it gets to that, I'll DNA Digivolve it with, um, where is it? Uh, <clears throat> this Greymon, and so I should add three, so it should be enough to get to 21, which is its ultimate level, and it'll be able to learn its technique, which is very important. It's really, no, shit, I won't be. If it's only 21, then it's not enough to learn its technique. Fuck, I hope it's 19, because then plus three would give it 22. Anyway, um, so now you want to go and back to the digital city and talk to... The chief mechanic, what's his face? I think it's Maestro. Uh, because if you remember, when he first gets to the device dome, uh, what's her face? Kim, the one who's always hitting on you, even though you're a child. Uh, or at least it always seemed that way to me. Uh, she gives you the titanium core. And that's good and stuff. But this is how you do it. First, you have to install a Pegasus engine, which is fucking expensive. Especially when you're buying all the other shit first. But uh, I don't think the next upgrades come for a while, or at least they're more spaced out. Because at this, it's weird because you could upgrade anything. So I see you got a titanium core. You have the right engine too. I'll go ahead and install the titanium body. Thanks, Chief. Just leave it to me. I'll have it upgraded in no time. I'll use your. <sighs> Thanks. Okay. Great. Great. All right. So you need to upgrade the titanium body to get some of the future upgrades. Like right now, all the upgrades only require a steel body, which is the one you start off with. But, um, like, different boxes and RAM and engines will require you to have titanium. So, try and do it as soon as possible. Um, and you need to do it with the Pegasus engine. Let's see. I want to set my Digi line up. 
I'm actually not going to use Metal Greymon. I'm going to use... Vigermon is very strong. Well, Greymon's got Fire Blast. Vigermon's very strong. And this Dark Tyranimon has Fire Blast. So I should be able to blaze. <laughs> Fire Blast? Blaze? Get it? <laughs> That's so funny. Right through the Colosseum. Also, like to mention, I don't know what the fuck was in my throat last week, but I could barely talk. And normally I record on Saturday, sometimes Friday. Today, I'm recording on a Sunday. That's why it's late. And you know what? I feel good. I feel better than normal. Maybe. Just maybe. It's because I know I don't have to grind very much anymore. Yes, yes, this is whatever. Do you say rank 2? Does that mean I already went to the Coliseum? No, I didn't. I couldn't have. All right. Come on. Yep, Bertram. Oh, we're rivals. Oh, let's fight. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. It's gonna be a tough one. Uh, so the biggest thing about the arena. I guess let's just give a quick rundown. You can't use items, or you can't use any cannons. So it's only with Digimon moves. This is like the only time that Digimon having healing abilities will come in handy. Um, but at the same time, these they're pretty easy in the beginning. So you really don't have to worry about them. <clears throat> like, there's that, and then this fire blast should take care of him. Oh, wow. Fuck it, motherfucker thinks he can stand up to my fire blast. Um, <clears throat> I normally would have grinded just a little bit more before this, like, just to get, like, the perfect Digimon, but I don't really care too much. The big thing I was grinding for was money and different Digimon at once. So instead of focusing on, like, a few couple, I was, like, really trying to go over more broad. Ha! Huh, broad. That's what you call a lady if you're a 50s New Yorker man, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's do counter, because why not? Wait, hold on. How much was that? 18? I just want to see. No, 12. Okay. <clears throat> um, so while I was doing this... Um, I was playing Final Fantasy 13 too. You, you know that because I haven't ta stopped talking about it for like the last couple weeks. But um, I finally finished it. And shit, this is annoying. Um, let's do blah, 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 blah. spiral twist. Gem. It's the most insulting. Last time I did this, I swear I blew the fuck through them. I think I might have had a uh, Myotis Mon by now. He hit. My Otis one is great because he has Grizzly Wing, which is to cost 40 MP, but it attacks everyone and does a really big amount of damage. So I might try and get a Demi Devimon. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. But um, that'd be super useful. Uh, what was I saying, though? I um, platinumed Final Fantasy XIII 2. Not only did I beat it, I platinumed it. I gotta say, that's a fucking awful ending for that game. Because it's basically just, hey, <laughs> to be continued in Final Fantasy thirteen three, <laughs> are we r <laughs> right, guys? You guys want to play a completely another game too? I've heard arguments that it was the difference between making the game like a, because it's a long game, the difference between making a game forty hours and whatever. And I've heard that thirteen three is supposed to be a really long game, so it's like I don't know. I guess it's okay they split it up, but at the same time, I'm a little pissed. I mean, I don't like bad endings. It's, like, even, first of all, you don't see the full story unless you get the DLC, which I'm not a fan of. Well, I, DLC should, oh, actually, hmm. No, no, I'm not alright with that. DLC should not have, like, critical information. Like, if you want to learn more about a character's backstory, maybe do it in DLC. But not, like, core ending things. Um, yeah, I'm not alright with that. DLC was fun, though. Uh, it was a cool little battle with lightning type thing. Saz's DLC was pretty good for getting money too. But uh, yeah, really liked the game. Glad I platinumed it. Uh, a couple other things. Um, about podcasting. You guys said you, you know, you'd, you'd listen to it or you'd watch it and said it'd be a good idea. And so we're probably going to do it. Only problem is I work on weekends and that's when my fellows, PJ and Carlos, are free, and they're not as free as I am during the middle of the week, so we're having trouble figuring out when all three of us are free to record it. That's actually the reason I didn't record yesterday, too, or even do it, because I was, like, waiting, because one of us, I won't say who, was supposed to be free, then wasn't, and then it changed to a different one of us that was free. Basically, all three of us were at fault yesterday, but at different times. Um, 
really having trouble getting our shit together. But, uh, we will, and it'll be great. You guys will love it. Um, what the hell? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta be careful with MP, but I'm really not being, because I know it's so few attacks. Um, what was I saying? We are gonna do it, though, and I have a great idea. Like, my biggest thing to figure out was, excuse me, since it's gonna be a YouTube video, what am I gonna have going on in the background? Like, I was very, very against just having a black screen, and I figured out what I'm gonna show while we're talking. So, there'll be more about that when we podcast. I want it to be kind of a surprise. But, I will say this. It will involve audience interaction. Oh, I guess I'll say this now. If you would like your name in a video, uh, I'll play. I'll do it during the podcast. So, like, say your name is Wrath of Zalus, then I'll put that in the video as, like, I'll, I guess I can say it, as the name of a character. Uh, you know, I don't like being coy. I really don't. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play XCOM. And that is a game that is incredibly long. And for the most part, yeah, I can't do a Let's Play on it. Just because it's not really action-packed enough. It's it's kind of slow-moving. It's really, really long. But if I was going to do a podcast where we're not actually recording, like, we would do the podcast, we record, and then later I would play XCOM and, you know, I would use I would record and use the footage and just slap the audio onto it. So it wouldn't be like live commentary. It would literally have nothing to do with the game. But that way you wouldn't be staring at black, and that way we can play XCOM. The reason I want names is... Um, like, you can name your characters and you can customize them. So I will. Um, you know, I'll always do, I'll do PJ, me, Carlos, Pat, put our four characters in the game. That'll be, like, the first four. But if you would like your name to be in XCOM during the podcast, if you want to be a soldier in my armada, then just leave a comment, uh, like normal. And then I want you to, this is important, randomly pick a number between one and three. So either pick one or two or three. And then pick another number, 1 through 24. So, like, you could be, like, 1 and 6. Or 2 and 17. Or, like, 3 and 4. Like, just 1 through 3 and then 1 through 24. Two separate numbers. Very, very simple. I'm not going to explain why. Um, I will say it's going to... It's going to lead to some funny things. I already asked Carlos to... And I got Pat's and I got Carlos's random numbers. I don't have PJ's yet. But um, it's basically a customization thing. It'll, just, it'll show who's different. What I will not do is I will not customize your character to look like you. You are going to get whatever fucking character. You can be a girl. You can be a guy. If, you, if I pick a girl soldier, you are a girl soldier. I'm sorry. I'm not getting that interactive. You get your name and I will customize you. And that is it. But uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, it's I've wanted to do an XCOM Let's Play, but um, like I said, it's too long. It's like it's it's interesting, but not always interesting. So it's kind of difficult. But um, I feel like that format could really work, and I'm looking forward to trying it. And I know PJ and Carlos are big fans of the game too, so that should be interesting. Um, I guess I'll play as long as you know we keep doing the podcast. It will not be every week because, like I said, we are busy, busy gentlemen, and we can't always be available, but I'll try and do it as often as possible. Um, that would be the goal. Um, next order of business, Kingdom Hearts Let's Play. To be honest, I don't know why I haven't started it. Um, I just keep thinking about starting it, and then I'm like, eh, is it too soon to start it? And I'm like, no, it's not. So, let me commit to this. I'm going to do it this week. You're going to make me do it this week. I'm committing here. So I think you have to win in the Coliseum three times, which is why I'm going back and forth. Uh, but yes, I will start it this week. You will have to hold me to it. Um, yes. Yes. Okay. And yeah, look for that on Wednesday or Thursday. Might take a while to get enough damage. So did I beat the first rank? When the fuck did I do it? No, I couldn't have. Did I skip over it? What the hell happened? Why do I have less money? Is that why I can't enter the tournament? I don't have any money? That would explain a few things. That's probably what it is, actually. Uh, let's go back here. Sell some shit. If I have any shit left. Did I sell the engine? I thought I did, but I don't think it was worth that much. Um, yeah, that would explain it. Yes. No. Maybe. I don't know. 
Uh, no, why am I buying? <clears throat> what are you buying? No, not doing that joke right now. Um, <laughs> yeah. I keep forgetting I did a Resident Evil 4 Let's Play. Nobody has even, like, clicked on those since I made them. Which is fair. I mean, I was still starting out and stuff like that. I just find it a little surprising. Magic Pen... See, this is what I don't like. This is why I don't feel the need to play Magic Pendule too much. I don't want to transfer. Stop it. Um, is because I... Part 1 continues to get views every day, which is good. That's what I want. And then I look at, like, Part 2. No real increase in views. Mostly people watch the first part and then they're like, eh. And stop watching. And that makes me sad. But if the other part is starting anymore, then I would feel more inclined to start doing it again. So, I don't know. I still haven't sent my PS3 in. Uh, do you know what I did instead of sending my PS3 in for repair? You guys are probably going to like this. I bought an Xbox again after selling it. Yep. I'm not very good. People shouldn't trust me with money. <clears throat> so, uh, that happened. I have an Xbox again. But the good news is, because I downloaded all my games digitally last time I bought it, just have all my games again. Didn't have to buy anything. So that's nice. Uh, the only game I didn't have is I've been playing State of Decay, which is a zombie game by Microsoft Studios. Uh, fun game. Kind of monotonous. Definitely not as good as Dead Rising, but fun zombie game. It's alright. I like how uh, survivalist and realist it is. I mean, no, realist during a zombie game sounds weird, but... Oh, wow. No, she really doesn't have any more. Okay. I just sold all that shit for nothing. Fuck you, bitch. Your purple hair is tacky. Um, yep, just doing that. Uh, playing Minecraft again, even though it comes out for PS3 in like two or three weeks. Um, the problem was I got too sick of my PS3 games. Like, I was looking at all of them, and I was, and I was like, ah, I need to take a break. I can't keep playing these. Um, I would also like to modify my Pokemon comments. Pokemon was fun. It's starting to lose its edge, and I don't know how to fix that. So, <clears throat> I'm going to have to keep playing. I don't know. Uh, is this that stupid... Now I'm going to have to talk to this fucker every time I walk in now? I'm going to take a drink. Hold on. I'm going to keep pressing the X button, though. Or the cross button if you're a fucking Nazi. Who calls it... No, seriously, drink. Do I want pizza today? I don't think I do. Pizza's expensive. At least from the place I get it. It's good, but it's expensive. I wish there was a Domino's near me. I fucking love Domino's. They're so cheap for so much. And that's enough of you. Blood Knights. Ah, they're bad. I should stop them. Seriously, it's this story, and this is really not very good. <clears throat> oh, this is where they introduced Lucky Lewis, who I was convinced would be a bad guy because they introduced him halfway through the game. I mean, come on. That's bad guy written all over it. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. The Blood Knights were just introduced, and Lucky Lewis is also introduced at the same time? Definitely not a bad guy. I should mention, I have not beaten this game. He could actually be a bad guy. All right. And then Joy Joy's like, I don't know what's fucking his problem. Blah, blah, blah. I don't give a shit what any of your problems are. So, they just found Blood Knights, whatever they're called, in a boot... Domain. No, hold on. I don't remember anymore. Um, I think you can get a new if you give a new Mon now, you can get Megadramon. Hello, this is Digimon. Right now we're trading Megadramon for new Mon. Yep. So, stop it. Okay. I should look at my items. Um, no, hold on, wait. I also put my Metal Gramon back in. That's another thing I should mention. The reason I took Metal Gramon out is because. Um, you don't get experience when um, you're in the arena either, so it's just the only reason I'm keeping Metal Graham on around is to like get his max level. And since there's no experience and he's kind of weak, there's no real reason for me to do, keep him around. But um, I should buy missiles again, right? Even though I just sold some. Um, I wonder if they have wave missiles yet. Those are helpful. Uh, I need to transfer items. Blip. Mm, one. I need a toy plane. Because, um. 
I want to get that new Mon for that Mega Dramon, and it's so much fucking easier than throwing skateboards at him, so I just... There's no point. I mean, I'm going to get to File Island soon enough where I can buy Toy Planes, and I can't think of another one to use it on. No, why are you two switched over in Device Domain? This is really annoying. I want you to know that. <clears throat> Alright. Where are the Wave Missiles? No Wave Missiles. Great. I need one of you. And it looks like it's all I'm getting. Shit. Do I have anything to sell? Yes, I can sell these, because I don't have any data Digimon with me. And I don't have a virus Digimon with me. So, buy another one. Buy one of these. That should be enough. Hopefully. And if it's not, I will be aggravated. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'm at the 20 minute mark. This is really annoying, because, like, I don't want to go through a lengthy domain, but I think I'm going to have to, and that's going to suck. I'm going to be miserable. You guys are going to listen to me. I'm going to sound like I'm bored. I'm not bored. I love this. Oh, it's so much fun. Um, shit. Alright, let's go to... No. Yes, no. Wait. SCSI was the first one I went to, so we'll go here now. Uh, I think they added traps and shit, though. Yeah, look at that shit. I'm green now. That's the titanium body. Get fucking used to it. Um, I think I like the adamantium one pretty well. Mm, mm, I don't have to fight you. <clears throat> I don't want to. Go away. Stop it. Um, never fight anything on the first floor. It's like the first rule of robotics. What? I don't fucking know what I'm saying anymore. Do I want pizza? I don't think I do. Like, if I ever found, like... If anyone ever gave me a cheese pizza from anywhere, I would be like, yes, of course I'll eat this. It's fucking cheese pizza. Cheese pizza is delicious. But I don't think I ever, like, go out of my way to order cheese pizza. Like, it's just plain cheese pizza. I don't know what it is. It's just not something I do. I don't feel guilty or anything. I'm just like, eh. Free pizza. You never turn down free pizza. It's always amazing. But ordering your own pizza? I don't know. This is blue. I can't go through these. Uh, good thing I upgraded my sensors, so or I probably would have ran right into it. Uh, that's another. That's a, pretty much the only reason you need to run, upgrade your sensors, so you don't run into it and look like a fool. Um, that's a dead giveaway. Is uh, if the floor is different colored like that, you fall for that. You deserve to get shocked. And there it is. Oh, my fucking floor is this place. Don't be a lot, please. I want to get out of here. I want to go and. Well, I don't know. Fucking, I'm already bored with my Xbox. <laughs> I don't know why I bought it. It was such a stupid idea. I was gonna get the R2D2 Xbox, the one that goes beep boop beep beep. When you uh, open it, it originally came with a Kinect, but you can buy it at GameStop.com. It's got 320 gig hard drive and fuck, um, and it looks like R2D2 and makes R2D2 sounds when you open it and turn it off and shit like that. Uh, I was literally gonna. I was trading games that I wasn't playing anymore in, for like the few physical games I still have, and it was one of my old man. I went to a GameStop and it was my old manager was working. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna trade this in. I'm gonna go to back home and go to GameStop online and uh, buy the R2D2 Xbox. He's like, oh, I've heard that has problems. It's like, why would you tell me that? Uh, I mean, I know you're looking out for me. And that's great. Thanks, former boss. But at the same time, I mean. I was all excited, and then I was like, oh, I guess I'll just get a regular 250 gig if you guys have it. And, you know, I saved money and stuff, but still, I was, I was heartbroken. I'm still recovering. I actually forgot about it until just now, but, you know, still recovering, heartbroken, all that jazz. Um, yep, that's another thing. I want to say this. Um, I wasn't going to talk about this. It wasn't, like, on my list of mental things, because I forgot to make realists because I don't do that anymore but um in Beyond Two Souls the sequel to Heavy Rain they, you know it stars Ellen Page she was motion captured and all that jazz and stuff like that and that's great and all uh, I really enjoy the game there's a scene where she's getting ready for like a dinner and she showers and all you can see is like from behind you like you see her pixelated digital butt and you know you see her shower but you never see anything from the front or anything like that um I don't know if you heard this story, but someone had a debug kit, which I've been 
or a debug PS3 or just the debug version of the game. I forget exactly how it worked. But um, they had an early version of the game or a special PS3 because they were like reviewers or something. So they get it early so they can review it and stuff like that. And they moved the camera around and they found, you know, like the boobs on Ellen Page's character. And I'm assuming whoever modeled the character put those in. I don't know why they would put it in. But I'm assuming they did it. And, you know, the internet got hold. And so a couple websites, like it was at first it was very small. A couple websites have it, had it. But then uh, Sony did the stupid thing where they're like, um, I actually saw the exact message he posted, like the Sony rep posted. He was like, um, hey, that's not supposed to be there. Well, you know, it would be a great help if you could please take it down. Like a really humble, really like meek message. It's just saying like, come on, I mean, like, you know, you know what's wrong. You know, you shouldn't have that kind of image up there. She's like a famous actor. Obviously, it's not part of the game. And they reported a story about how they told them to take it down. And then it blew up. And now I think I heard Ellen Page is suing Sony, but I haven't been able to find a story about it. And that that really, really bugs me. Like, I don't... It's a really weird position. Think of yourself in, your, in that PR situation. Like, they, you see that a couple websites have it. It's very small websites, nothing big. And what do you, do you ask them to take it down or you just leave it alone? I mean, if you leave it alone, there's a chance it'll get big and get out. But if you ask them, it's like guaranteed that it's going to get out. Like, no matter how you ask, the guy did everything right. He was like, you know, just, he was nice about it. He wasn't like, take that down. We demand it. It was just like, take down. And I think the big thing was he, he didn't ask to take down the pictures. He asked to take down a story about it. But it's like, I, I can't agree with that. That's, that's messed up. And then, like, you know, the whole internet's like, they re Reddit reported a story about it. And then the first comment was literally the pictures and the images of it. I was like, that's, that's fucked up. Like, ugh. Like, I've been outside that before, where it's like, obviously I'm very into Sony, and I'm a big fan of this game. But it's like, I don't want this game to get bad press because of something stupid like that. All of that being said, me defending Sony and all of that, I want to know who the fuck rendered the boobs. Who gave it... Who gave them like nipples and stuff like that? Because I can't imagine that Ellen Page modeled nakedly, knowing that, or like, if she knew, she didn't want to actually be in there naked. So like, I don't think that when she was mocapped, you know, she was naked and had her boobs hanging out, her girls hanging out. So that means they added in posts, like I'm assuming, like they just didn't want to leave like a model with no nipples or anything. But why the fuck not? If nobody's supposed to see it, just who cares? It doesn't matter what it looks like. If they did that, then nobody would be talking about it. So, it's partially the developer's fault, too. And, I don't know. I hate stories like that. Um, you know, that's my two cents about that. Uh, I would link to the story, but I'm lazy, so I'm not going to. Uh, you can just search Alan Page, Beyond Two Souls, nude, nudity, I guess. And if you don't find the image, then you might find the story. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't like stuff like that at all. Bugs me. Um... <clears throat> Made me sad. Uh, what else? I already talked about how I'm not getting PS4 at launch. If I didn't, then it's because I um, just don't see a need. Uh, shit. Okay. Those are actually really easy to avoid. Ah, fuck. Alright, well, I'm fighting one. <clears throat> um, yeah, that's about that. I'm trying to think. I don't know if I have anything else interesting to talk about. Um, I hope so, because this video still got a ways to go. Um, I'm watching American Dad on Netflix. It's a really enjoyable show. I think I like it better than Family Guy, or if not, like the same. I think I've said it before, I kind of stopped watching both those shows, but uh, I still think they're entertaining. Like, if I find it on, I'll put it on, I'll, or I'll leave it on. It's, I don't have any, anything against them. Um... I know a lot of people are like, Family Guy went downhill, blah, 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 blah. Who cares? Just sh don't watch it. No need to bitch. Um, what else? I need to get into a new show. But I can't think of anything to watch. I should keep watching Fairy Tale, but then I think I wanted to find the um, the manga version of Fairy Tale, because apparently it's still going. And I wanted to read it instead, just because there's more content out there. But uh, I don't know. Fucking A, I have nothing to talk 
talking about? Uh, I guess a Pokemon update. Kind of started talking about it earlier. I don't. I don't know. I'm kind of falling off. Like I'm. I think I really like my Vita a lot better than my 3DS. I don't know what it is. Besides the Sony fanboyism, just it doesn't feel as fun. I don't know. Like it was. It was entertaining at first, but I'm just kind of oh like. Now I'm going to fight these guys again? Oh, that's great. Oh, should I be listening to the riveting Pokemon story? That's because it's not riveting. That's why I said it was a joke. But, I don't know. Nah. I'll play it. I'll beat it. I'll probably beat the Elite Four and then put it down. Um, I bought Walking Dead Season 1, the game, I guess you would call it. So the Telltale Games. Um, the one that got Game of the Year last year. It came out for Vita. So, at some point, and it was on sale this week, because it was Scary Week, or whatever the fuck PlayStation was calling it. And I bought it for Vita, so once I beat Pokemon, I guess I'll finally play that game. I still have it on PS3. I beat the first chapter, and then I just stopped playing. I don't know why. Uh, I just haven't gone back. But it was a really good, it was a very enjoyable experience, but I think it would be better on the Vita for me. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't know. I just said I don't know. What do you want from me? Mm-mm. <clears throat> Um, let's see. So, start Kingdom Hearts, let's play. Talked about the XCOM thing. Um, just, yeah. Don't forget to leave a comment about the XCOM thing. Um, hmm. What else? I'm sure I have something interesting to talk about. Oh, I guess, pfft. So, I'm watching sports. Ugh. I'm watching the Red Sox games. Um, I guess this was recorded before, but um, the Red Sox. I'm, you know, I live in Massachusetts, so it's big on sports for the Red. Um, and not just that, it's big on the Red Sox. They are currently in the World Series. But uh, last week, the game ran really late. Like I go into work at 11, so the game was still on, and it didn't end until midnight. It's like. Not much else I can do, uh, because every time someone comes in, they just come in and they be like, "Why is, you know, why don't you have the Red Sox game on?" I'm like, "Cause I fucking hate sports." But then they just don't accept that because they're drunk and it's a sports state, and they're like, "Oh," I'm just like, "Oh, fine, fuck it, I'll leave it on." Um, it's honestly very interesting. Um, I'm totally bandwagoning, but it's like, it's a lot more interesting than reruns of SNL or, God, new SNL. Ugh, it's even worse. But um. So that was last week. They were getting into the playoffs. Like, oh, I don't have an open space. I don't have an open space, do I? Because I am fucking retarded. I forgot to transfer them out. Yep. All right. Well, not getting them yet. Um. But it was very. It's all right. I don't mind it. I think I like baseball most because when I watch things, usually I'm doing something else. Like I'm either playing my DS or you know working or uh, when I normally play games. I'll either put up a podcast or I'll put Netflix up and um, do that. I am... Oh, no, wait. What was the best way to do Raremon? Okay. The best way to uh, fight Raremon, everyone knows. I mean, people kept giving me comments about it. They're like, oh, watch out for Raremon. He's going to, you know, confuse you. That's true. I think it works the same way that uh, Wizardmon's Thunderball works, though. Because it's a counterattack, if you attack him, it's like a much higher chance to confuse you. But if he's just the last to attack... Uh, he'll attack you, but there's less of a chance that he'll confuse. And that's important. So, uh, I'm going to kill Sukaimon first. He's going to he's gonna regular attack. And then I'm just going to go all out. So I'll have every one of my Digimon attack him. And if even if he doesn't die, he'll only confuse one. And that'll make things way fucking easier. So, like, your first in instinct would be, like, take it out first. But it's only if it gets... If it's a counterattack that it even does... Or if it even gets hurt, so... Like, see, I'm confused now, but uh, attack one more time. He's dead. Who cares? It doesn't matter if I'm confused. So that's the best way to do that. Um, Jesus Christ, you guys are taking forever. <clears throat> um, back to the Red Sox thing. Um, so they're in the World Series now. Last night was game... Three? And it was 1-1. One one. Cardinals 1-1. One one, Red Sox 1-1. One one. You guys are going to fucking hate this discussion. <laughs> I'm all I'm grasping at straws here, and um, they there was this call, or so it was the bottom of the ninth. That's the last inning, and uh, two outs. There's three outs in an inning, and um, 
Not two outs. It was one out, but there was bases and shit like that. And the Red Sox were looking to get a double play, and it was tied at 4-4. Four to four, So it was looking like they were going to go into overtime. And then they didn't because... Um, or extra innings is what it's called in fucking baseball. But um, I'm going to butcher this because I know baseball. I know enough about it. But it's like I don't know the correct terms. And, oh, fuck. That sneaky bastard. Oh, that's good. You should target Sukaimon first because I never realized why he had friendly fire. And now I know. Um, I was really counting on Vigermon too. And he's confused. Shit. Um, so... That should be enough to... Oh, I gotta keep attacking Sukaimon. Damn it. Oh, man, this sucks. I underestimated it. Damn it. Okay. So, oh, these are looking bad. Things are getting too spicy for the pepper. Um, antidote. Anti-mix-up. Holy shit. I finally fucking happen to just happen to have this. Um, let's just go all out here. It's not going to kill him, and that's going to be the sad part. <clears throat> and he's going to get fused again immediately. Because that's how things work. In this shitty fucked up society. Alright. Guard again. Guard. No, wait, hold on. Better idea. Um, yes. Um, back to the Red Sox thing. Again. I know I said back last time, but I was lying. Um, so, it ended with an obstruction call, which I guess means that one player got in the way of another player. It was a big play. I mean, I'm not going to get into it. It was a shitty way to end a World Series game, and I kind of... Like, I was kind of on board with the... I can't believe rival sports team did this to home sports team. Blah. Fuck, I don't even know why I'm talking about this. But anyway, it was actually an interesting game. And, like, when the stakes are higher, it's easier to get sucked in, so I guess that's good. But normally I give two shits about sports. Like, during the regular season, I'm like, oh, they lost a game. Who gives a shit? But for the World Series, that gets even I'm kind of like, all right, let's see where this goes. I think they have another game tonight, and I have to watch it again. So hopefully that doesn't suck too hard. Um, kill Sukaimon first. You don't have to go all out on him. Like, he's still a rookie, so two attacks should be enough. But um, yeah, that was good. And then attack Numon. Blah, 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 blah. I have this weird thing with my headphones where I swear I can hear the disk drive in my headphones. And that's definitely not normal. But it's like, I don't have any way to confirm it? Like, it's really weird. Like, I shouldn't be able to hear my disk drive in my headphones, but somehow it does. Uh, the amazing speaker that was given to me at PAX East. Blah, 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 blah. The amazing headset. Why did I say speaker? Because I'm going 40 minutes, my mouth is dry, and I'm running out of shit to say because we're fighting the same fucking person for four, the fourth, fifth time in a row. <sighs> no, no, you guys love it. It's fun. Um, and it's so interesting. It's so much different than the last cave I was in. Um, fuck, I need to play a new game. I really do. Uh, I bought M One Piece Pirate Warriors 2 because I, uh, I don't know if I really like... I liked Pirate Warriors 1. You go through the entire story of One Piece, most of the story. Probably the entire story. Maybe most of the story. Before the time skip. If you don't know One Piece, there was a time skip. That's all. Two years went by. It was actually... I remember it. Because I was re I was up to date reading it when it happened. Um, the author took four weeks off during the time skip. And it's like, you wouldn't think four weeks is that long. It is fucking long when you read it every week. So it was weird to see it come back. It felt like two years. Um, what was I going to say? Um, uh, yes, I got One Piece Pirate Warriors 2. I like the first one. Two, I don't know. Because, one, it followed the story. Like, it followed the story. You remember, go you're going through all the moments that you went through when you were watching or the manga or reading or whatever you fucking did. And, you don't, it's a, like, it, because there's not that much story post time skip yet, there's been like two arcs. Not nearly enough. Like, it seems to me moving a lot slower since they, uh, uh, had the time skip. It's still interesting, but slower. And, uh, th so they had to create their own original story. It's like, oh, well, this happened. You know, basically a filler arc. So I'm enjoying it less. And enjoying it less knowing I paid $50 to pay a game I enjoyed less. So, not having the best time with it. I want to keep going, because, again, I paid $50. I better get my fucking enjoyment out of it. I don't know. I like the first one better. 
they did improve some stuff, but it's just, I don't know. The story's kind of important. When you're playing an anime game, it's like part of the fun is going through like the crazy moments they go through in the anime. Like, the Bleach game was great because you got to go through some of the fucking amazing fights. Uh, but that's just me being picky. I need to watch more anime. I put a bunch of my Netflix queue only to, like, not watch it. I don't know why I did that. <clears throat> Somehow, some way, I know it's Carlos's fault. I can't prove it, but it is. Damn it. Um, so I guess I got missiles for nothing. I guess you don't need it in the SC, SI domain. Oh, why are we going so far? If this is a dead end... Oh, that's not a dead end. <clears throat> uh, it might still be a dead end. I don't know. Jesus Christ, I'm going so fucking long. Last week it was, like, funny that I was going long, because it was like, huh, you, know, you guys want longer? Let's play. Oh, look at me. Oh, I'm so silly. Now I'm actually going long without trying, and it's not as fun. In fact, I would say it's not fun at all. Oh, went up to Cape Cod again. Oh, wow. I almost wasn't going to talk about this. See, this is the good part. It happens, like, around 40 minutes where I'll forget to talk about something, and then I'll remember it. Um, so... I went to the Cape last week um, because I needed to get some transfer script stuff. Or I need to get my transcripts to transfer. And I... Fuck. One of these needs to hold off. All right. <clears throat> uh, as I was driving over... The, you don't know the Cape, so I'm just going to say it. You drive over a bridge. That's usually like halfway, give or take, from my journey to the Cape. Uh, well, the bridge is like what marks the cape. It's like before, you're just on the highway, and then you're into the cape, and now you're on a little tinier highway, but still on the highway. Um, I used to have traffic there all the fucking time. I don't remember if I ever talked about it. I probably did, but uh, the traffic just got awful. And, you know, I just I got to accept it and stuff like that. It would be uh, aggravating, because my trip would go from an hour, an hour each way to two hours each way, and that's not okay. That doubles my travel time. It's already really long travel time. But, um... So as I'm driving over the bridge, you know, everything goes fine. But I look to the left to see the people going out, and it's backed up like three fucking miles. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm only going to be here for like an hour. I'm about to have to go sit in that. This is going to fucking suck. So I came up with a plan. It's all right. I go, I, I get my stuff, I do everything I need to do, and I... <laughs> I still can't believe I did this. As soon as I hit... Oh, fuck. Is this the junk parts? Shit, I hate this part. Um, as soon as I get... Oh, my... Who needs HP more? Hmm, probably, yeah. But shit, I still need an HP over here. I shouldn't have sold that HP driver. Eh, that's good enough. Who needs MP? Um, him, because he uses more. <coughs> I should probably should just use that. Shit, all right. Hmm... Technical difficulties, please remain in your seats and something something plain reference. Um, <clears throat> what the hell? Oh my god, I got scared. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, some guard tamer you got weird red things. So I hit traffic and let's play syndrome. You know I constantly forget what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> I usually listen to music on my iPod in the car, so it's plugged into my speakers. Uh, as soon as I hit the traffic. I switch over to the one movie I have. Literally, in case of emergencies, in case I get so fucking bored and there's no internet or something, or it's like I don't want to use too much battery, I always keep a very, very special thing on my um, uh, iPhone. And that is, I keep Muppet Treasure Island on my iPhone at any given time, just in case. Just in case. And so I watched an hour of that movie just sitting in traffic. Like, I held it in my hands on top of my steering wheel, and every time I would slowly move, and the whole time it's playing through my speakers. I have the windows open. So, like, people can hear it going by. I'm getting weird looks. One guy drove by, gave me a really confused look, and then, like, his eyes opened wide as if he realized what it was, and he said, Fuck yeah! Muppets! And I was like, that's damn straight. So, I had to watch Muppet Treasure Island on my drive home. Surprisingly, like, usually I get road rage, especially in traffic on the highway, because... It's the highway. I'm supposed to be going... I'm supposed to be speeding. I'm supposed to be going like 80 miles an hour. So when I'm going 5, you know, I'm aggravated. Shit. When did I get confused? I should have attacked Bakumon first. Um, Bakumon lose your power. Bakumon lose your power. I hated that episode. He's going to die. I can't have that. On the other hand, there's not much I can do. All I can revive him when he dies. 
Um, shit, I didn't realize Bakuman had that kind of power. I should have known. I should have remembered the episode with Sora and Joe, but I was young and stupid. Boost counterattack power. I don't care about that. Stun foe and counterattack. See, if I use this, then he'll automatically target Deltamon. Or most likely target Deltamon. I can't have that. <clears throat> Stop it. And come on. If someone needs to die right now, it is definitely Bakuman. Come on, attack Metal Grimm on you. You wanna? Yeah. That's right. You know he's confused. You know he's low on HP, so you wanna take him out now. And that's that's why you're gonna lose. You're a coward. Um, a great movie. I love that movie. But um, it was really relaxing to watch it. Like it, it calmed me down, which is surprising. All right, I'm not gonna get him up right away. Actually, yeah, I will. Why not? Um, he's not gonna be confused when I get him up. And let's see. Can you please just die now? Uh, no. Wait. Yes. <clears throat> All right. But uh, fuck! I am so out of things to talk about right now. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Halloween's coming up. That's a that's an interesting thing, ain't it, folks? You know, at Halloween. But uh, yes, I haven't sent in my uh, or I haven't sent my PS3 to get repaired. I don't know when I will, but um, the I'm probably gonna get Magic Pendulum back, so. If I don't, that'll be the end of the series, and that'll be sad and stuff, but if I do, I'll keep going. Sly, I'm eventually just going to, I'm finally just going to break down and play through it on my other PS3, and get to that point where I was. It was the final heist, so at least it's an easy point to, like, jump off from, but it might take me a while. But I will start Kingdom Hearts, and the XCOM thing, part of the podcast, should be fun. Um... You can look for the podcast as soon as we do it. I'm not going to like hold it. I'm, I'm going to edit it make sure it's done. Uh, I don't know when I'll post it. It'll be when we're finally all free. It might not be this week. Who knows? Uh, I don't know when we're all going to be free. But first things first before I forget. No. Wait. Uh, transfer you to the Digi Beetle Bank. Or Digi Bank, I guess. Whatever. Fuck off. I can call it whatever I want. Uh, you two. Let's see. I should work on DNA digivolving them, but I don't wanna. Cause that's work. Um, I think that's the end of the plot. So that was fun. Uh, things to remember. Podcast. I'll do it whenever I can. If you want your name in the podcast, like I will name my soldier like Frank. Wrath of Zalus, and that'll be like, insert your name there instead of Wrath of Zalus. And I'm not going to do first names. I'm not going to do real names either, unless that's what your screen name is. And I'll do that. But, I don't know. It feels weird to get that, like, involved. It's weird, especially because your soldiers are probably going to die. I'm going to be playing on Iron Man, which means they die, they're dead. There's no, no ifs, ands, or buts. So it's going to be high stakes. Um, I'll talk about it more when I do it. If not, maybe once I do it. I don't know. Fuck it. But, um, so leave a comment. Just be like, my name is Wrath of Zalos. I choose two and then 16. I don't know. One through, so one through three and one through 24. Two separate numbers. And look forward to that. That should be a good entertaining thing. Again, there will be no sound from the game and it'll just be like us talking like normally, but you might, ha that'll happen to be in the background. So, you know, just to keep you entertained while you watch. If you, if you watch, if you don't, that's fine. Um, this part will be out next. I'll do another Digimon part next week. Uh, comment and remind me that I am supposed to start Kingdom Hearts this week. In case I forget. Or in case I get lazy. Um, yeah. Uh, that's about it. I can't think of anything else. I'm running long as it is. Uh, thank you for watching. And... Fuck you, I hate you all. No, I'm just kidding. I love you. No. Yeah. It's like a happy medium, right in the middle. Eh, you know. Dun, dun, do, 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 do. You know, I've decided I am going to get that pizza. Yeah. I'm going to get a large cheese pizza. Yeah. Alright. Goodbye.